What's up guys, back with another kind of a different sort of video today. We'll talk about it, we'll get into it in a bit, but I hope everyone's doing amazing. I hope you're all living your best life as always. We are still number one in the world currently. So just a little update for you guys. There is only five days left in the season. We've got Finney in second, Pina Boy third, and then pretty much everyone else. I did see your nightmare was actually at 2,440, very close. Let's go have a look at this. Yeah, so a couple loss. Oh, wow, he's really going for it. How many? Oh, wow. Okay, so he's, he's going for it right now. 9.30 to 12. He's grinding, he's grinding it out. And let's go have a look at Finney. Finney, is this Jero Federer? Is this Jero Federer, guys? Remember the, the person that was number one in Germany and he said all these rude things and got exposed? Oh, wow, yeah, there you go. This guy's really going at it as well. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we still are pretty far ahead of the competition here. That being said, I probably will end up playing a few more games to end this season because I do want to hit 2,500. I think that's a, a nice milestone to, to finish on. Obviously, if we were to lose a game, it would really suck. But depending on how far ahead we are from everyone, I probably will play a couple more games. Definitely one, definitely one more. But if I win that one, then I got to play another one, right? But 2,500 would be a sick rating to finish on. Now that we've got a little update on that, I do want to bring in this. Give me one second here, guys. Okay, we have a little video here. Basically, what this video is going to be is just looking at starting placements from 1v1, maybe a little bit after the starting placements as well. Shout out to It's OK, who is top 50, top 25 on the leaderboard right now. He's also another YouTuber. I'll put his channel in the description. Go check out his content. It's very wholesome. But yes, let's take a look at this board. This is a rating around 2200 and Durst is a good player. I've seen him up on the leaderboards before as well. I apologize for the remove ads and the smaller screen, but this will be an interesting video, a bit, bit of a different one, but let's take a look at this board, all right? So Durst has the first pick. Let's go ahead and just skip through a little bit and see what he takes here. I'm assuming it's, yeah, okay. So I'm just assuming it's something on the, now the weight could definitely be an issue for you or something like 8310 is really interesting and you block off the 834 from ever happening, but you can't pair much with this 834 if you actually look at this board, you know? You can't get brick sheep wheat really with it. I mean, you can take this. I just feel like that is pretty much just losing, leaving him, you know, 694 and 695 is pretty bad here. So I actually really like this board for second as well. Yeah, it's definitely a board suited to second because, you know, Durst takes 596 and then you give 8105 to 649, which is probably not ideal. You could probably still win with it, right? 596 and then, I don't know, like 854 sheep ports is kind of cool. But then, you know, you don't really have the ore there. Right? It's a bit sweaty. They build into 834 double ore. The good thing is though, that they don't really have double wheat until they get to the 11 and not a real great port either. So that is something on this board, but it's also a low key battle for, you know, 834. That is something on this board. That's a bit interesting to see if that was to happen. But okay, 8105 gets picked. Takes 695 always here. Let's see, just let's just see what he does as the first pick. Okay, he's looking at, okay. So he takes the 695. I think this is definitely the right play here. You take the 695. Now there is a few interesting plays on this board that I can see, okay? So 695 gets taken. You cannot under any circumstances give him every resource here. So you definitely take 694 away from him. And Durst is most likely going to play something like, you know, 8510, something with the, the sheep, right? The double, the coordinated eights, maybe even 834 could work. So the sheep port or 854, and then you port your wood for, for a brick and get to the sheep port. So, but most of the time, it's going to be something along this half of the board. Once you take the 649, now this road is actually critical here. If you're planning on playing 694, which I assume he's going to take, Durst is going to play something up here. If you take the 694, coordinated sixes, obviously, so two sixes, you know, in the first five rolls already, you've got three roads in hand. And then, you know, nine and five are bound to roll in the first 10, at least, surely you think. 
But this is really, really good because also you're expecting him really not to take the brick. I mean, he can take the 6-3-11, but it's probably losing here. I doubt he takes the 6 3 11. It's possible to win with it, but I don't love the prospects of the 6 3 11 here. I think you definitely probably take the double weight for sure. Now, what makes this road so important? You might just think, all right, I'm just going to point up to the 8 and 5. I'm going to point left. But if you go to the 6 9 4 here, if you're playing 6 9 4, you obviously get a free road. If you build this road right, what you can actually do before he even gets a road is one, two, three, four. So you need three sixes or two sixes and a five and a nine, which really isn't that difficult before he's able to port everything basically for a road, which if he takes a 10 five, he'd need a lot. And even if you don't get there, he's going to have to port his wheat and the wheat is really important for him just because he only gets it on the 10 roll. So Importing four wheat is actually really, really nice for you. I guess two fives he can port, but that just is what it is. If two fives roll, then two fives roll. There's not much you can do there. And like the five is a good roll for you. So I think that's key. So let's see what he does here. Yeah, so often roads, so he points left and he takes six, nine, four. Often the roads can actually win you or lose you games. This isn't terrible. I mean, pointing right's not terrible, right? You can still... You can still really come all the way here. He instantly takes 694 as well. Let's play this out a little bit. See what Durst does. I'm assuming an 8510, 6113 would be interesting. I do like the double weight. I just don't think you have enough firepower though. And I don't think you can... Mm, do you really point right here? You're never getting 834. Okay. And boom, you get a six straight away. Massive roll. 12, 7... And let's just see, we'll go on, oh wow, and another six. Okay, so you've already got three roads. If you have, if you had have pointed this, he's still got, only got three cards. I mean, that is quite massive. And I think your setup, what your setup is lacking is, is the ore, right? Now, if you had appointed the road this way, you also open up like a potential, you know, one road into the nine, 10, 11, and then you share his weight spot. But just cutting him from eight through four is huge as well. And grabbing the best ore yourself is absolutely massive seven cards here you just pass nice there's the nine okay so you need one five or one you know you you could you basically he's still got three cards yeah so this okay he's gonna settle here let's just see what he does and then we'll talk okay he is gonna take the settle all right so i think this settle is a little bit hasty in my opinion right he's rolled durst has rolled a seven the three is blocked you need the or so the three is already blocked. You're settling on it. You're now blockable if he rolls a seven. And what does he need from your hand? Brick. So he's got a 50-50 shot at the brick, which is quite nice. Quite nice for him. You don't need to... I don't think you need to be so hasty on the 8-3-4. You know, it's not even that great for him. I think... Yeah, I think the better move is just going one, two, three. Get to three, eleven, four, And then all you need is a five and a six. And then you can road settle on 8-3. Four, and obviously you just track his hand very well. He's, I mean, there's already been, what, a couple rolls, five or so rolls, and he's still only got three cards. And that's because he's literally living on three numbers. So it's not that hard to track his hand either. I think this is just a bit hasty. I mean, yeah, it's it's good, but is it? You're just grabbing, you're doubling a four, you're getting, you know, the worst ore on the board, and it's blocked, and you get more sheep. Like, I think it's better to be patient for sure. And if he had appointed this road right, he's one five away from going... One, two, three, four, and just completely ending Red's game, I think, essentially. Because once you, if you can get eight, three, four, I think you, you definitely just destroy. You, you, you cannot block your road building. He's going to be blocking the weight. Once you grab a port, it's just over, I think. But let's continue to just check out how this game plays out and what else rolls. So there's the five. You would have had the plow there. He hits his, he hits his first roll. So now eight, three, four plow has happened. You might even see a resign, honestly. But let's continue. Eight. Yeah, and now you, you're just kind of flooded with sheep as well. Like, it's not that great for you. And the fact is that you're blockable. Yeah, so let's see if he ends his turn here. Seven cards. It's fine to end your turn, but I think actually playing roads there is probably best and letting him steal sheep, which is useless if he rolls seven. So I would just play one, two roads and scare him a little bit. But at this point, I'm not sure what his hand is. It's just a bunch of sheep and ore, right? There's been no 10s, sheep, ore, and wood. Okay, there's the first 10. 
He's going to start popping. Nine rolls. Yeah, I mean, you can take Road Settle. Brickport's actually pretty good here. Okay, you're going that route. Yeah, grabbing the double weight here is nice. But actually, I think the Brickport might be a little bit better just because you're doubling the three. But I think this is fine. Ultimately, I mean, how many roads is he used? So one, two, three, four. So he's used four roads. Yeah, your hand is so good here. I mean, I guess if he pulls mono, oh wow, and another six rolls, which is nuts. So that's settle right there on 834 for you with a ton of sheep and a ton of wheat. So now you're just absolutely set, I think. You settle 834 if you had have had it. But that's that's an interesting look at this first this first board. We could go through the whole game, but I think I want to keep it to just the starting placements and, and a bit of the opening game. But let's jump into the next board. All right, on to the next board. Sorry that it's a bit cut off for you guys. Uh, it's just the way that he's zoomed in on it. And I once again, I apologize for the ads, but it's mainly just looking at the board. Okay, this is a spicy one, right? So all the ore is kind of here, but it's only the 11 and 12 and 3, 4, 11 is a gross expansion. 6, 9, 12 is something. 6, 5, 10, 8, 5, 10. So yeah, I think you do want to lock up the 10 of ore here as the first pick. It's actually a really nice first pick. 6, 5, 10 with, you know, either 9, 5, 10 or 6, 3, 4, right? which is really nice for you. What else could he do though? Thing is, if you give six, five, if you take six, five, 10, you're giving six, nine, 12 into the wood pot, but I don't actually think that's a bad thing. I, I have a, I don't know. I've mixed opinions on settling on the opponent's strongest or spot, because obviously you want to be blocking this. So I have mixed opinion, but the wood pot is pretty decent. Let's see what Steve Flowers does. I think I probably take six, five, 10 here. Okay. A little bit more zooming in here. All right, we do see 6, 5, 10 happen. The road is correct, in my opinion. Yep, I think this is a fine road. 8, 3, 5 is going to be great. What are you doing here? I mean, the issue with 5, 9, I mean, you're getting the wood, right? And it looks good to get to the wood port. But I think the the double wheat is almost better for you. I think 6, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12 is a better play. Because then he takes 5, 9, 10, which is great for him, right? He's on coordinated 5, he's got a lot of wood. But what you do is you fight for this expansion. You take the free road, you should roll six, nine. You should realistically get there before him. And then you cut off that eight, three, five expansion, which is massive, right? And now he's only got five, nine, 10. And I guess if he points, I guess he can get nine through four, but even then you can run over to four, five, 11 and then come through here to connect. Woodport can happen later. I don't think this is a necessity. Let's see what happens. The best weight is always, I think, something you really need to look at. So he actually does take five, nine, 10, and this road happens or even, yeah. I mean, I guess it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, so he's thinking, I guess he's thinking Woodport here. I think double weight's way better. Coordinated sixes. Let's just like, let's not worry about this 10 of ore for a little bit. It's only the 10 of ore, right? You've still got the 11 over here. You're already on the 12. What you need to think about is fighting for this expansion. But what does Steve Flowers do? I assume, I assume it's 634, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This makes sense as well. Look at your space compared to his space, right? And 10 rolls first, of course. Uh, that always sucks when that happens, but you're going to be going to the wood port. Maybe you get... 810 as well, but he's already going to get 835. He's going to, his city quality is really good. He has double weight. He's about to have triple weight to your, opposed to your one nine of weight. Yeah, the wood port's good, but ugh, I mean, 10's already rolled once. I'm not liking the prospects of this game. Whereas if you had have taken all the space, might have been a little bit different. Six. Yeah, and that would have been weight for you as well. And not, there you go. You would have been loaded right now. Absolutely loaded. You could even pop a dev really if you wanted to. Nine happens. Massive roll for you. But that's the base of this board. Let's see how it plays out. I'm actually kind of interested. Let's see if we go here. What happens here? Yeah, I mean, I guess you got this, but he's got the city on the 6510, which is huge. And he just has really superior all wheat sheep on, on you. You've got the wood port, I guess, but I think this ends up in a loss. Let's see. 
Okay. Three devs though. All right. 11 to 10 with five devs now. Surely there's VPs, yeah. So I think this game is actually winnable on the opening boards, right? I think most games are winnable. Some boards are obviously just terrible. Yeah, I mean, you did get Longest Road, which I guess is is nice, but it's just not enough. There's not enough space, not enough. Like, he's got one, two, three, four, three hex spots. You have one, two, three, but... 6113 is not great compared to 9411, 624, 835, 6510. Like those are massively high producing spots. So what you really need to look at for everyone watching this video is not getting boxed in. You got boxed in big time. You're on the outer side of the board with the desert, whereas he is on all the good stuff, right? Especially the wheat. Wheat's probably the most important thing in this game. You need it for everything. So yeah, and the idea of getting to the best of getting to his ore, just, I don't think it's like this 10 roll, you don't want it to happen really, do you? Three, like you want to be blocking that. But I understand you can, you, you can lock in on that wood port. You don't really want to give him five, nine, 10, but yeah, I think six, nine, 12, six, three, four would have been great. And then you beat him to eight, three, five. You have a lot of space. You can even come in for eight, 10 and then the wood port later. Yeah, I think the game's definitely winnable. You block his nine all game. I mean, you can still, you can always still lose, but I think it would have given you a better, better fighting chance. All right, let's get on to the next board. Okay, and now we're in the third board that we're looking at, probably the final board for this video. Let's see what we've got cooking here. Wow, beautiful board. All the ores over here. Wow, what do you even do here? I need to take a second to look at this. Yeah, wow. Huh. 8103, 834, guys. 834. No, I think. There's a lot of things you can do on this board. A410 is pretty solid. Just because you know you're going to get something, right? But then you don't really want to give 6-3. I mean, even just 8-3-4, 6-5-11 is actually a really nice setup here. For second. But as first... I mean, as first, I guess you can take 8-3-4 if you really want. 6-3-4 is also valid. Let's see what he does. Okay, he took the 6-3-4. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is a pretty good. There's, I mean, there's just a lot you can do with this, can't you? Now, what do you do as second now that they take 634? What do you guys think, huh? Comment down below. What would you guys take on this board? It's a pretty nice board. I like it. It's, it's, it's somewhat satisfying. Yeah, I'm seeing a few things, actually. A few things indeed. Indubitably. Undubitably. Okay, so I think what I like best... Right now, I actually think you take 8, 10, 3, 8, 4, 10. You point left, you point down, and you plow him to 8, 4. And then you're just on every single ore, and you keep him off the 8, which I think is key in this game. Because he's most likely looking at some, you know, an all wheat sheep kind of setup. Even just 9, 5, 10 seems pretty strong to me. He can take 6, 5, 11, of course. So he's looking at a pretty decent all wheat sheep setup. Now you do start without the sheep, which is something for sure. But building it to 1095 and 84 wheat port is absolutely nasty. It seems pretty nasty to me. And then of course later, I mean you've got the road building, right? And now he could take 629 and just build a road here. But now what? He's got zero wheat. You've got all the road building. And the funny thing is he actually overloads on the sheep with only a two of brick. And I think his game's just dead at that point. You'll eventually get to, you know, all the good spots. Get all the good stuff. You're still on, you're still on the eight and three of ore. So there's not a necessity. This just makes him think like, oh, what do I do here? Damn, he's got me, you know? But let's see what It's Okay does. Seven seconds. Okay, let's play this out. Yeah, this is good. Point down. Point down. Do it. Point down. Come on. You want them to take 629. Ah, he doesn't. Uh, I guess he's thinking about this brick. Nah. You always want to... The road. This is what I'm talking about, roads. Roads are really, really important in 1v1. This, this road down can literally win you the game instantly. I still think... I think if you point down, I don't think he's ever going to take the 629. I think they're always taking the the wheat spots here. Some, t some type of wheat. But yeah, I mean, now you just take 8410, right? And you're happy. Skip ahead here. 10 seconds. 
Oh, he's really in the he's really in the tank here. Seems pretty simple. Take a four ten. Oh no. Okay. So this is another thing that you see a lot of players, a lot of one v one players do is they, I mean, always cheap, very strong. It's it's the definitely the best thing to play, but this is just too forced, right? You gotta you gotta be able to play other types of strategies. This is just a forced kind of all wheat sheep setup. I don't I don't like it at all. And the issue, the main issue with it, like yeah, okay, you look at it, it's a, it's pretty good. Like you've got double wheat, double ore. You got the sheep, but what are you giving him? You're giving him eight four wheat port with nine five ten open right now. You've got zero road building. You've got a ten of wood. You're not going into any port. I guess yeah, okay, you get the five of brick. From it doesn't, you still like lack the wood. He's going to block 10, you're screwed. And it's going to take you forever to get there as well. But you're giving him 8410 into 1095, into 84, into 693. Once again, your space is just deteriorating. You need the space. This is your only other three hex expansion, this whole game. 6, 11, 12. I think you're going to find, I mean, he's, surely he takes 8410, guys, right? Imagine he takes 5, 9, 10. Nah, we should see. Yeah, okay. So 8, 5, 10. I can already know that this is going to be a loss. Unless you just pull ridiculous devs like Mono Road Builder first two devs. Let's go let's skip ahead. And let's have a look at the space. Okay, so like I said, he gets he got 6, 11, 12. Look at the cities already. One city, two city to his one. And this city isn't really isn't that good. This wheat pot is absolutely crazy. There's no good blocks on him at all. And another issue we didn't even talk about is your good block is the six of sheep, so he doesn't pop, right? But you're on the six of sheep. So, yeah, I could tell this was going to be an L here. Let's see how far we get before the L happens. He does pull mono. Yep, yeah, 16 to 7. I mean, we saw that coming from a mile away. And really, it's I think a big, big learning lesson in this video is space is really important, right? And getting extra expansions. And I think the key is where to point your road, what you can do. I like that he took all the time to think, but he just didn't come up with the right answer, which is fine. I mean, it's a tough, it's a tough game. It's not easy at all. You know, you watch it and you watch it back as viewers and you watch my games and people are very critical, but when you're in the game, it's very different compared to when you're watching it on YouTube or, you know, I'm looking at it here. It's a lot more clear. You're not under any stress. So no hate to It's Okay, guys. He's obviously a top 50 player this season. So he's probably better than most people who criticize in the comments. But this is good. This is just learning. Like we're all learning here, including me. And this is going to help everyone. I appreciate everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. Make sure you leave a like and comment. And yeah, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.